Tonight at 10 o'clock, SpaceX making history once again. Tonight, the first all civilian chartered space mission is currently underway. The Falcon 9 rocket blasting off from Kennedy Space Center, 5.02 our time today. Inspiration 4 mission will be in orbit for three days. Kick on Candace Crone has more tonight from Hawthorne, where SpaceX is headquartered. The liftoff of Inspiration 4 marked a new era of space travel. SpaceX successfully launched the first all civilian crew into orbit, blasting off from the Kennedy Space Center at 5.02 p.m. Pacific Time. The four tourists aboard will circle the Earth during their historic three day trip. Billionaire businessman and pilot Jared Isaacman is funding the $200 million flight and also serving as commander. He says the mission is monumental. This is a first. That's significance. That's responsibility. You have to get this one right for all the other great missions to follow. Isaacman is joined by geoscientist Dr. Cyan Proctor, data engineer Chris Sembrowski, and Haley Arsenault, a physician's assistant at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The team will soar some 360 miles above the planet and can check out their surroundings through a dome window called a cupola. And as we move, you know, to the moon and Mars and beyond, we're writing the narrative of human spaceflight right now. Part of the crew's mission is to raise $200 million for St. Jude's Hospital. At some point, they'll talk to children who are patients there. For Arsenault, the trip is extra special as she's a cancer survivor. They're going to see that somebody who is in their shoes, who also fought childhood cancer, can go to space. And I think it's really going to show them what they're capable of. SpaceX hopes this will be the first of many tourism flights, making space travel more common for non-astronauts. Reporting in Hawthorne, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Well, breaking news, Amtrak and Metrolink are suspending